What's up guys, Mama Rocky here, good morning. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a fun way and delicious way to make some easy breakfast burritos. Um, I make them throughout the week and sometimes I prep the stuff earlier in the night so that I can just quickly throw them together for you know me or my husband when we leave for work or school or you know the little guy over here. So starting off with bacon and then Obviously you can use as much bacon depending on how many you make. So right here I get eight pieces of bacon just to, you know, feed us all. I have my little uh, special guest here taking a nap this morning. Hi. Sometimes I make the bacon in the oven because then I don't have to worry about it. Today I'm gonna make it over the stove because I'm gonna use this bacon fat for the potatoes. So next, we're gonna do our potatoes. Whoa, All right. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice them. All right. Very carefully, yes. Now, I'm not too worried about how they look as more as how they taste. I'll take the round ones and then I'll cut those in half as well. All right because we kind of want the potatoes to all be the same size. Now, you can totally um, take the skin off the potatoes if you like, but I like the potatoes with the skin on. So just gonna get all these sliced here. Now the tortillas, I use flour tortillas and I get the large ones for the burritos. So I got my potatoes chopped and ready. Um, no, they're not apples, it's a potato. Yeah. Ooh. Apples. All right, so gonna wait for this bacon to be done, and then we will take a little bit of the bacon fat out, but also leave about two to three tablespoons of bacon fat in there, depending on how many potatoes you have. And then we will get our spices out and throw those in. All right, so bacon is done. Just gonna take the pieces out, let them drain, and just set these off to the side. Love bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? Next, I just usually take a bowl and I don't really measure it, but I look at how much fat I have in there. I'm gonna pour about half of that out and leave the other half in for my potatoes, all right? So that the potatoes have that nice bacon flavor. Next, going to place the potatoes in our pan here. Ooh. Lost one, Sage. All right. My helper woke up from her nap. So turn that to about medium to high heat. And then, bless you. Bless you. And then just gonna season with some seasoning salt here. All right. And let those heat up to cook. Okay, all right. Now once the potatoes start getting this nice brown color, I'm going to add in the chorizo to them. Um, it's gonna take about like five minutes for the potatoes to start to get some color on them before we do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this chorizo in to the potatoes, all right? And we wanna Use our spatula to break it up into like little clumps. We don't want to leave it all together because it's going to enter in all together. So we want to mix it in with these potatoes. The potatoes were just starting to brown and turn color when I added the chorizo in because I did not want the potatoes cooked fully without adding this chorizo in first because I want the potatoes to cook and then gain some of that flavor from the meat. Checking on these again. Looking and smelling really good. All right. So I'm gonna lower it just a little bit to let those potatoes cook, finish cooking. And then cover it and we'll come back to it. Next, we're gonna do the eggs. Get those ready, slice our avocado and we're close to being done. All right guys, 
Just gonna do some simple scrambled eggs now, all right? Gonna crack them. Now, they're simple scrambled eggs, but you know, usually people overcook them and they are easy to overcook because they do cook really fast, but we're just gonna scramble them in the bowl right now. All right, use a whisk, a fork, combine these eggs and then I always like to add some whole milk to my scrambled eggs it just gives them a little bit you know more fluff let's go back and check on our potatoes for a second those should be getting close to getting done which they are we are going to take one out to test it mm -hmm. they are done and delicious all right, so just gonna spray your cooking pan for eggs so that they don't stick. We wanna make sure that it is a good temperature. All right. Pour our scrambled eggs in. Now the eggs, you don't wanna take your eyes off the eggs, all right? We wanna keep watching these. Hi! You wanna help me? Sometimes I take it off the heat here, so the pan is hot enough. They're just gonna honestly cook. And instead of chopping at the scrambled eggs, I like to fold them over. All right, these eggs are done just about, so I'm gonna turn them off the heat. All right, so they'll be all ready for this burrito. Okay. All right, now the last thing we gotta do is heat up the tortillas. So I'm gonna turn the heat nice and low. We don't want it to be too high because we're gonna place the tortilla directly on it. All right, I like to leave a little edge here for me to flip the tortilla once it's ready. And how do we know it's ready? So I constantly flip it and you'll start to see like the brown spot, right? And we want to move it. We don't want to leave it there for too long. Oh, Sage. So I'll constantly do this. And when you start to see these little bubbles happen, that's when you know it's getting cooked. See the tortillas start to bubble up just like that. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of heat. Gonna open up this towel here, place it in there to keep it warm, okay? And do that with the rest of the tortillas and then we'll be ready to build them. All right, so just gonna slice this avocado here so that we are all ready to just do our assembly line for these burritos. So I just like to take the knife around the edge here, just cut out that inside, and then basically just gonna slice it right down. I don't know about you guys, but I can eat avocado by itself. All right, now we have our pieces of avocado ready, and we're gonna build these burritos. I'm hungry. So I'm take one here. All right. I'm just gonna use the same spoon because I'm gonna already use salsa. So just put the egg right in there. All right. I'm just gonna layer that. Oh my gosh, looks so good. All right. We're gonna put avocado slices. All right, I like a lot of avocado in my burrito. Okay, we're gonna take our bacon and I like to crumble it up, okay? So it's already in there. You don't have to do Right, take some salsa right down the middle. All right, I'm gonna push all of it to the one end, wrap the sides in, we're gonna tuck it. Voila. Mm-hmm breakfast burrito. Make sure 
If you make the recipe, you let me know how you like it. And also, if you like the video, hit the like button. Also subscribe and also let me know what you'd like to see next. Bye. Mm-hmm.